If you've ever been afraid that somebody's spying on you, this could be the tool for you. Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office. Yes, with the support of my patrons on Patreon, I have uh, purchased a, a gadget that has been, uh, we've been asked, I've been asked about, and I don't know anything about them, so I thought we'd get one. And this is something to help you detect secret spy devices in your in your house or room or hotel I guess. Uh, first things first, it's very cheap. Um, although it's build construction actually feels it belies its general cheapness in cost. Um, it does unfortunately only come with one of these doodad adapters, uh, a death adapter. <laughs> um, your mileage may vary. You might want to put your own uh, I don't know actually, it's quite, quite firm, but you might want to put your own adapter if you're a bit worried about that. And the instructions are entirely in Chinese. Uh, I did have a look through it. Uh, you kind of will have to guess. Oh, hang on. Okay, I lied. I just didn't look properly. I just looked on the back. It's English on the other side, you numbskull. Right, okay, fine. It's fine. Um, I can see it does uh, does have some lies on it. Actually, it does say these are laser lights here. I don't know if you can get laser LEDs. I think I need to read this now before I talk any more because otherwise we'll just be talking nonsense. Okay, let's scrap that. I've got a better idea of what this does now. <laughs> so uh, just uh, basically to go through some of its features, you have a five volt charging thing, which uh, you've seen it does come with a charger. You have a headphone hole um, in the top, which has headphones. And these, uh, if you recall, when we were using the signal uh, tester for the wire signal tester, are very useful when you want to really have that sort of sensitive poking it in your ear type thing. But also, if you want to use this in a clandestine way, you don't want it beeping all over the shop and revealing your position to the bad guys. Um, remember like all those movies, they always like go, shh, someone's listening. You have a compass, which, yeah, I don't know how handy that is. Um, a button that does the, that says laser on it. You have a uh, on switch, which puts it on speaker mode or no speaker mode, because it does have a vibrator thing, and you have a sensitivity adjustment, and of course, an antenna. So the first thing is you put it on, and this is the, it says volume, but it's not, it's actually the sensitivity adjust, and you can hear it screaming already. So that means it's picking up something. Um, the idea is you'd sweep this around and if you detect something with the antenna in, for example, then you would sort of extend the antenna and adjust the sensitivity to hone in on that radio source, which we'll have a little play with later. But the main feature of this, of course, is to look up um, cameras. And uh, you can see I've just pushed the button and it's flashing that. Now, if you hold the button down, you'll notice it changes the frequency of the flashing which that can be useful depending on uh, your environment, of course. You, you'll notice the flash, the period period of your flash. But if you're in a, a, an environment where there's other flashing lights, of course, you see that's why you can adjust them. And you think, what does this do? Why is that useful? And it's just flashing red LEDs. You could make this yourself, of course. And then there's just a red um, piece. <laughs> Did that just go off there? There's a red lens in there. You can see that. And I don't think that's anything particularly special. You could probably get Cadbury's Roses wrapper. But I will show you how it works it does it does actually work so i've got this uh, trusty old blackberry and i found a whole pile of blackberries that i went through <laughs> over the years of blackberry use and god you forget how great a phone is that small um it does have a camera on the back and if you see in the lens do, 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 do. there you go you can't see anything by the way there's a blue led on your compass now that is playing now if i turn this on look do you see right there? My finger's not in front of it. You can see the camera lens reflecting back at you. And of course, it does mean you'd have to sweep your room carefully because if it's slightly oblique, you can see if it's slightly oblique, it doesn't show it. But the idea is you put your eye up to this. You use it like a viewfinder right up to your eye and then you just look around your room. And um, if you imagine, let's say, for example, if you're worried about somebody spying on you in a boardroom, oh no, let's say even more likely, a hotel, a CD Airbnb, 
uh, bedroom, right? You know that whoever's focusing the cameras are going to be focusing at the most likely places you are going to be. So probably the bed or a chair if you're in a conference room, right? So what I would do, I would just go lie on the bed, hold this up to your eyeball and just look around. Just look around. And then that's how you'd see if uh, there's a camera in there. So that I think works good. Now the other thing is the radio detector because of course all of these things if they're transmitting should be uh, making uh, affecting the data around you, you know, sorry, affecting the RF around you and you should be able to pick that up. And it does say in the book that it's capable of receiving from 1 megahertz to 6500 megahertz. So you're like, hmm, I don't know about that, but fine. Let's try it. So if you turn it on and you turn your sensitivity, I've got it on vibrate right now. You can you can feel it buzzing. You can, you can hear it as well. Now you've got my mobile phone here and you think that should be giving off oop, all sorts of waves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my phone right now and you can see it, it's doing something here too. And I'm going to call up the phone company. Whoa, you can see that there kicking off. You can hear that ringing. So that's calling the phone company and you can see that's gone up. So what you could do then you see is turn this down. And the idea is then you could use the antenna to walk around your room. So you sort of work, you were trying to work out where something is by uh, adjusting the sensitivity and using the antenna, I guess, to further attenuate the sensitivity um, until you can hone in on where that source is. In fact, I'm going to turn that off. And you can see it's turned off. It's gone back down again. It's just flickering. There is a bit of a flicker. So if I put it on sound there, you can hear what sort of this little... There's a little bit of a chirp there. And then we're going to turn it on again. I'm going to call... Uh, <laughs> so it's reacting to just the touch screen, I think, when you do certain things. I'm going to call the company. And they've actually answered now, and you can see that. Good. So some sort of oscillator circuit in there. I think for the money, I think it was about a tenner, you know, something like that, that this uh, little kit could be a bit of fun to take with you on the road, really. Um, the construction is, is really good. It's actually really well built. It's not creaky. You could definitely just pop that in your pocket. It doesn't have um, any bits to get lost. There's no battery doors, anything on it, really. The only thing I think is a bit lame uh, is the uh, compass. I don't know if that really is that useful to you. Um, Maybe, who knows, maybe if you wanted to reproduce the targeting or something, it might be useful. But the bit that I kind of think is near a bit of a uh, sadness is this uh, inclusion of a uh, standard wire type charger, because it is five volts. You could just use it off a, a USB. So maybe that's a modification you might like to make, is just make this USB-able. But I suspect, honestly, that the battery life on this would be absolutely significant. Um, it's not really going to use up much. If you think about it, you're really just flashing some LEDs at the end of the day. We could pop a lid on this and have a look, see what size battery it is. Okay. Oh, there's quite a lot in there, all things considered, isn't there? Um, that was our button, our laser button from the front. And you can see there's the little compass module, and there's an LED, a company LED there. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed with this. There's something very peculiar here, though. Look at this. The piece about the the bit about the um, viewfinder has a separate PCB. So I wonder if there's a revision there on the LED board. Because remember, that's where the LEDs are. And there's your wee little battery. My word. And that is the vibrator, the buzzer. Fantastic. So let's have a quick look at the battery. It doesn't say what it is, but you could probably Google up and have a look for something similar online if you're really curious about the size. But yeah, I think go ahead and try to make one of these if you want. Uh, you can see it's just a red bit of plastic would do. Um, say something from your Christmas sweets, more, more likely than not will uh, suffice. Um, 
very interesting though again yeah about that led board if you've got any any um suggestions on why they did that and have it as a totally separate module i'm interested i i suspect i'm gonna here's my take on it it's a separate led board because they use it for video cameras do you know the little cctv cameras you can buy it might just be a standard board that you use for them and they've just said okay let's just reuse that module on here there are some uh, interesting footprints here like here you can see there's some surface mount pads but they actually have solder uh, resist on top of them so they've they're really uh, been deprecated in this design yet they still persist there the chip is uh, cannot be read unfortunately um, I think they've I, I, don't, I don't think they've removed anything it just looks like it's not been supplied with anything on there and here is a, an LM35B, whatever an LM35B is. You can see a little tiny bit of coil there, a little inductor. Um, probably an amplifier circuit, if anything. And I'm always curious about things like this when I see here. You've got like a couple of capacitors, not fitted, a diode. So this probably had a slightly different charging circuit or something on a previous revision. But yeah, nice and simple. So I would suggest, yeah, go out and have a look. If you want one and uh, again that's the cc308 please like share subscribe if you're that way inclined come chat to me on discord and as ever oh no i lost my lens thanks for watching